said earlier, he's being greedy with the butterfly. And one factor, I guess, if they are push against the wall is that the, the Murano really is under fun. He only got Sanjin Yasha and the three rate bands. Yeah, I, I don't think this helps at all. This doesn't do anything. Usually, you should, like, take Yasha, make Deso, and then ring up a killer. That's it. Now, I don't know what, what Murano is going to build right now. Fox finally almost there for his... Uh, yeah, okay, he has his Yule Scepter now. The buyback, Sniper and Puck only has buyback. The rest, they don't have buyback. Riki, just a bit more and he'll be able to find his buyback. Oh, there we go. Yule's for the Riki. <laughs> just for the Riki. <laughs> this is for Mirana Ken, uh, for Puck. The, thing, the good thing about Yule's is when Bite Rider comes in, Use his lasso, and all Pock has to do is just use the guy he lasso. <laughs> now, all everyone's on the mid lane. If like, the if the Mirana could have at least another one item, then he, that could pretty much affect all the Pock being so game. greedy. Blinks in. No, he he orbs up. He, yeah, he, he, use, he if his if orbs. Sand King was able to stun him, then. That could have been an easy kill on him. So what uh, Team Millennium do is doing right now is that all I have to do is just the push top lane, then it's GG. Mega creeps all lanes. What the team needs is to. But then the sniper, look, he has his manta, but no buyback. I think it would have been better if he had his buyback. Uh, he should have saved that money for the buyback for the clash. Yeah, th he should have saved up money for buyback. No one has buyback except Ricky Mario. There we go again! Fox being so greedy. Where did he go? <laughs> yeah, he, he was doing the orb, dagger in, face shift, face shift and then orb but out. But then he was instantly hexed. This is what you call being too greedy, uh, being too confident at the same time as well. Yeah, overconfident. And now, there's now they're gonna take the top lane. There's no Pock, they can't initiate, they can't fight them. Oh, Sniper gets caught. No BKB on Sniper, easy kill. No buyback. No buyback, yeah, it's GG. There's no way they're gonna win anymore. Are we gonna see an ultra kill? Ultra kill comes from Ricky Mario. A while ago he had a rampage, now ultra kill. There you go. There you go, GG well played. If they only played at uh, Smart, if Sniper could have bought different items earlier, then he could have bought. Such a close game. They were winning early in mid game. Now they lost the late game because they were too greedy in their place, overextending. Though the sniper has, yeah, he has items, he has damage, but they kind of provide space for the sniper to to free hit. Yeah, at the same time, this Mirana just went for a key rate fan since the start. <laughs> GG well played, uh, Millennium. Advance to the grand finals, huh? Yeah, they'll be going to the winners bracket while Team B will be against TT Esports. Uh, we'll get back to you guys after a short break. See ya.
Yeah, Max is starting. This is the losers final. Losers bracket finals. Yeah, this is the losers bracket finals against Q uh, Q Club Gaming versus uh, Team V, if I'm correct. Mm -hmm. Q Club is. Q Club is this the home home yeah, team? Yeah, home team, team uh, for Frost. They were you. Uh, the, uh, the thing is, they used to be a TTE sports team, mm -hmm. and now they become the Q Club team. But they're still sponsored by the TTE sports. Uh, I'm not so sure. I think I'm not sure. I should. I haven't asked it. But then they are the official team for Q Club. Uh, is what I heard. So they banned the Ember Spirit and then Goku. Yeah, because you don't want to fight against an Ember Spirit. Ember Spirit's like one of the most OP heroes. Team now Team B actually gets the Prophet and Rasta. <laughs> this is their. This is their fix. 
last time? On their first game. Before. In their first game, yeah. The mechanism. They're gonna go for the push stat again. Against uh, AA. Against Team uh, Q Club. So, who do you think will be the... Uh, they are going to pick for, to counter the push stat? Well, I think uh, Sand King and AA is a good combo. Like we saw last game, AA Sand King were able to show they were able to farm a lot and then they were able to contribute in the uh, in the clashes. So I think AA and Sand King is a good pick, more or less. But then they're still a Lycan. If you're gonna fight a pushing strat, then why not use Lycan instead? But, but the then, Lycan, oh, the Lycan was bad. Okay. So what is this uh, Nature's Prophet and Shadow Shaman gonna build? So this is gonna be off lane. I don't, do you think he's gonna go Mecha again? <laughs> if they're going for the push strat, we should go for the Mighty Shadow Blade for the mobility. <laughs> Last game, he went. I, his build was Mecha, face boots, and then Aghanim Scepter. Yeah. Yeah, and then he then, then goes for the sh Shadow, Shadow Blade. Blade. Yeah. yeah. It was a bit late. He, his his uh, ways of his items is quite weird. And the clockwork comes out. This clockwork is really good against Nature's Prophet because you'll be able to hook him wherever he is. And I think it's a good disengager as well for a clockwork hero. But right now they don't have any mid laner yet. Are they going? The ban the Gyrocopter. Gyrocopter. Quite an unusual ban, ban because uh, Team Q Club doesn't really use a Gyrocopter. They more or less use a Lycan, Luna. Maybe they think that the Gyro can counter their push strat special. That could leave but a lot of fun for Gyro. I think banning Luna is much better because Gyro isn't. He got nerfed quite a bit and he isn't really that kind of strong of a hero now. Not like Luna. And they banned Hanaga's side. Really uh, like I said, they banned the Luna. So what do you think they're gonna pick next? They pick Are, do you think they're gonna pick the same thing as they picked last game? If they're go if they're going if they go looking for a support right now, I would prefer if they go for the Adazal. If they really Yeah, they could go for, for Adazal. The, the last picks they made before was Nature's Prophet, Shadow Shaman, Ten seconds um, Invoker. Was it Invoker? Uh, no, no, no. They didn't. Was Five that the enemy team? Remaining. All I remember was Shadow Shaman, Venge, and Joe Ranger. Oh, they're going for Lash Shrek. So, yeah, they're going to yeah, go. Still, they're still for the push strat. But then the bad thing is these picks are being too needy. So if they lose the early game and the mid game, there's no way they're going to win the late game. As long as the carry can farm on his own, or remember uh, la last time in the first game, right? They were losing in kills, but then they only won because they were able to push. Mm -hmm. So if this team was able to counter their pushes and defend properly, then I don't think they're going to win the late game at all. So now I think they're going to pick a, another support. Remaining. Would you rather pick a Rubik? Reserve time. Just to get like their spells. A Rubik, a Rubik would be nice, especially if if you can uh, take the decent spells from the Shadow Shaman. Yeah, I Shaman. think getting like wards or hex is okay, because if you have hex, that's like like three point five seconds. Instant gain support. Yeah, inside yeah, inside sight advice for Rubik. But Rubik has not been played in this. Yeah, in this, this tournament, matches, yeah. in this tournament at all, there was no Rubik picks at all. Well, Q Club, uh, they're taking quite a bit of time picking. Alchemist! They're going for the Alchemist for the high carry, for the one position. No, no uh, actually, Alchemist can be mid laner, carry, or support. I'm not sure what this Alchemist is going to take. Bonkin! Flinks? This is too much of an early game. If they lose the late game and the mid game, then there's no way they're going to come back. They have to get kills towers really fast Bonklings can split split push on his own when, because of its wind walk but and then he, the he bad thing is alchemist he has hit spray use as that's that, that, that's the reason why they pick alchemist it's a good pick for counter for, for the push Five yeah counter push that's why they pick alchemist now who are they going Earth to push? Shaker. <laughs> oh, on Earth Shaker. So this is an Alchemist mid or carry. 
What do you think is much better, a carry alchemist or a mid alchemist, semi carry? I think they're going to put the alchemist on the carry. Yeah. On the one position. Because if you put alchemist in the mid, he's you can use acid spray to stack the ancient camp. Mm -hmm. Unless they block the camp, which we saw Team B always warding 24-7. They banned the temp for assassin for the mid. Well, what here do you think Team B is gonna take for the mid lane? They're all, like again, they're all squishy. Against this kind of lineup, they're too squishy. Yeah, they don't, they don't have any front line or there. Yeah, they don't have any tankers and they banned the put them. <laughs> Afraid of the push, the push is correct. Yeah, plus the one would instantly kill these two heroes. Now all they need is the mid lane. If they want a tanky hero, they could DK mid. Yeah, that's what what's in my mind. They can DK mid, especially that. Oh, um, but they went <laughs> for Enigma. Wait. So this is a Rasta mid, the Shrek bottom, Jungle Enigma, Clink's bottom, off lane Nature's Prophet. I don't know it's, if because it's gonna work well for them. Especially yeah, they have to finish this game. <laughs> Before the late, before late game. Yeah, if Team Q Club is able to get a good mid hero against the Shadow Shaman, the Shadow Shaman won't get any farm at all. They should have picked a tankier hero for the mid, like what you said, the, the, the Dragonite. I think they should take a Storm Spirit. Five seconds remaining. Or yeah, if they pick a DK here for Team B. Do you think Enigma would go in the mid lane? Maybe it's possible, they but can then. Put that also in the uh, mid lane. I think having Rasta mid because if you have level 6, you can instantly Ten push towers. Remaining. And Enigma, he can solo jungle. So it's not really a problem. Five so I think Rasta remaining. mid is better. And a bat rider. For, and a bat rider. For the mid laner. So mid lane bat against Shadow Shaman. This would be a quite an. Well, might be an early game. Oh, okay. So, well, so for the uh, team Dire, team B. Spider pigs on Clinks. Shim as a Shadow Shaman. Oh right as Dashrak. Moroven as Nature's Prophet and Haramichi Sakarugi Sakarugi as an Enigma. And for the TV is Sports on the region side, Clockworks. Chinese, know, Chinese, Chinese guy. <laughs> Asian. <laughs> Lee Minho on the Earthshaker, Frost on the Alchemist. Coops on the Ancient Apparition and Juwon on the Batrider. So, will they go aggressive try? I don't think, yeah, they're gonna go mid. They should go for the, it would be better if they go for the aggressive try lane. Yeah, I think they're going for the aggressive try lane and leaving the Alchemist in the bottom lane. Because they're all here. 30 seconds to battle. Or are they... <laughs> Fighting for our first blood. <laughs> well, Rasta, Rasta can see them, so I don't think it's possible. There you go. It's, it's going to be a mini Enigma mid. Enigma mid? Yes. So, Rasta is going to be a support top. Oops, sorry. <laughs> So what do you think this uh, battle is going to do? So <laughs> Enigma, I don't think Enigma is going to win the mid lane at all. Because look at this already. Stacks is... Batrider keeps on spamming his... But yeah, Batrider keeps on spamming his sticky nail pump. That's why this uh, Enigma... Look how slow this Enigma is. Five stacks already. Team B. Uh, I don't know. Uh. Well, I think there's just gonna be this uh, battle is gonna outlane this Enigma. And the only way Enigma can get anything out of this thing is just using his second skill. And well, Earthshaker is not really get 
well, this is Prophet getting way more EXP. So it's an off lane against uh, Trilin, I'm guessing. And the top lane clockwork just blocking the creeps, making sure this Klings is still being able to take last hits and all. And it's Oh, I think uh, Leshrak tried to stun this uh, clockwork, but then yeah, missed. It's just zoning out the clockworks to prevent him from getting <laughs> EXP. Yeah, but then I think it's much better if you just stack and then pull. In the mid lane, Enigma still qu doing quite okay against this Batrider, but then Batrider has way more last hits. So I'm guessing, I'm sure that Batrider is going to win the mid lane. This Nature's Prophet against. Alchemist carry. Major's Prophet is doing quite well on the on his lane compared to the clockwork. Yeah, but then if Nature's Prophet gets stunned, first use your first skill on AA stun the, on Earthshaker and a stun from this Alchemist. That means you're not gonna survive. You're just gonna die. And look at this <laughs> instant by Headress. He's going for his mech. Really yeah, he's going for the mech again. His build as usual. They're doing a double pull, which is a good thing. Having double cre uh, pulling creeps double two times. Will team up as soon as Enigma hits level six for the push. Yeah, I think so. They would push top. Oh, close stun! Almost hit the clockwork. Know, but this clockwork has boots, so even, even sorry. Tank connects, I don't think they can do, uh, kill this clockwork. Well, he's, they have. He's near the tower. Yeah, he is near the tower, though. But then, if you hit the stun, then you have Diabolic Idiot, you have Shackles, oh, yeah. Hex. There's a lot of disables. I think it's good if you hex him first so that you can kill him. Yeah. Well, in the mid lane. The mid lane is. I thought Enigma would lose the mid lane a lot, but then he's actually doing quite fine. Yeah. His damage on the mid lane is pretty even. 16, 3 to 13, 5. It's just a 3, three clips. Yeah. Alchemist, oh, level 5. Going for the max Evil Screed build. The thing is, if you let Alchemist farm, he's able to get 6 slots in just 30 minutes. Um, this is the reason why Alchemist as is much as possible, a good carry should, as well. Should, they should, the team should do it as yeah. early as possible. You can see time. Nature's Prophet almost level 5, yeah. almost have his level 3 Nature's uh, Treants. They could easily push this lane with the Diabolic Evic. But then look, a, a, a roam coming from a... There's a fire play. There's no way he's gonna escape. It's too late. The stun, the stun, I hit, I hit, and there you go. First blood goes to the Bat Rider. And the Bat Rider, what does he have coming to his barrier? Boots. I think this, uh, this Bat Rider will be able to form his dagger soon. While this happens, we have Enigma hitting the tower, getting a bit low. Talking about towers, <laughs> tier 1 tower is already gone. Last hit by the Leshrac. This Klings is try hoping to get something. Now, what do you think this Klings is gonna build? Will this Klings get Midas? Or just er more damage? <coughs> okay, he goes for the treads. He's not gonna go for the Midas. While this Shadow Shaman trying to get more farm, but in the mid lane. Oh ho ho! Enigma should be careful here, but then Shadow Shaman is still here, so it's it's an okay. Shadow Shaman gets spotted out. We see Leshrak. Oh, Leshrak gets he was blocked. There's no way he's gonna get out of this. He's dead. One more hit. Yeah, one more hit, and he's dead. Clinks can't do anything at all. <laughs> oh, trash talk. <laughs> trash talk gaming. <laughs> Uh huh. But this Nation's Prophet, he finally has his mech. He doesn't bother getting boots or anything. Six minute hex, not that bad. 
Mid lane, what the hell is that? <laughs> he, he blocked hole? The air. <laughs> the air. <laughs> PGG. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Shackle's coming off. Shackle's coming off. No, Rasta, Rasta. Rasta's running, running. He's gonna, he's gonna. No. Close call, Rasta could have survived. Fearn has his mech though. That's a good thing. Now that he has his early, it's a very early mid max, it's really easy to get in. Okay, now they're gonna try to push they mid. They should start the team fights now, and especially... They should start pushing, actually. I think they're gonna be able to push yeah. this. Deny? Oh, almost denied. Trying to catch out this Batrider, but then Batrider is too fast. They don't have uh, any words. Yeah, they don't have wards yet. That's a problem. He's still only level three. The supports here, level four, almost level five, level four. They could get this tower. They're gonna, yeah, they're gonna try to get the tower. Diabolic, I think is there. They don't. Do they have fortification? No, they do not have fortification. Easy tower. Blackwork Black hooks gets one. Gets death rack. No, will he? There's still no black hole. If black hole was there, then they could have killed them all. Their Rasta being able to survive. Mech has no mana for mech. Double kills. And look at this tower. 33 HP. Gets denied. And this ward gets spotted by the tower. What? What? Shadow Shaman finds a kill against Clockwork. So. That's a very bad move from the B. Well, I think it, it's an okay because they get the tower and one kill. And they only lose. Who did they lose in the last fight? They lost. They, they lost uh, Lashrak Lash Lash and Nature's Prophet. Oh, okay. Okay. It's okay as long as you get the tower. And now they're gonna push the but bottom lane. They have to push and push because if this alchemist gets Lash fat. The Nature's Prophet is not using again. Is not using the his ult again. Uh, <laughs> he just used to. No, just let. Now they're gonna take this tower down. I don't think they can. This this uh greater idol island should just uh, attack this. Ancient apparition is just doing his best to fend off the. Oh uh, oh oh! oh. Stun comes out. Uh, a good stun coming out from. All right, but then. He the black hole Does he have the, black hole? No, he has no mana. But then the mech. The mech holder already used his mech. Yeah, he already used his mech. Will he survive? Oh, almost survived. Did Buyback he... comes out. Stun comes out from Frost. They're all going back. They're all going back. We don't want to fight. But then here we go again. They're gonna easily push this tower. What could they do they against? Can force them? the team fight now because Earthshaker has no mana. Alchemist has no mana. And if he has, has his old his black hole, they can force the team fight now. But here comes uh, Batrider. He has his blaster. Oh, but then he gets hexed. No stun. No stun coming up from my right. But then they get the tower. I think it's. They should go back now. The tower has been denied. It get denied by Clockwork. I think. Look, no mana. The problem is for Nature's Prophet. He always has no mana. Nature's Prophet. We should have deep at the top. On the top lane now, then yeah, he could have just pressured this top lane, split push, so that the enemy team will go back to the top lane. Now that the, now that the alchemist is on top, they can force force them on the yeah. uh, second top. Tier the, two. Yeah, and the tier especially, two in the bottom lane. Especially that the thing is personal. What do you think about the the build of things? Do you think he should have took so that he could hit the tower faster? I don't know about that soul ring. Yeah, I'm not sure about soul ring as well. Oh, here's a free tower. They just gave up this tower in the bottom lane. This is the thing about uh, their lineup. They can easily take towers. This rest is not going to have a fix yet. I think... What more if he's not level yeah, 6? What, what more if he's actually level 6? He could easily push this tower. Since he's so worried about his mana for the, for the saving arrow. I think, yeah, they should go back now. 
But then look at this. Pat Ryder has his blink back. Okay, but they know that there's a they know that there's a war on the uh, Regent side. That's why they they, uh, they they were peeing that one. They, they, yeah, they know there's a ward here. I know they're going for rush. Are they going for rush? <laughs> yeah, going for rush. yeah I, I think this is okay. There's no one from the Regent side. They, they're not, they're oh, not, but oh, they're gonna the, the rocket. There. The rocket. It's gonna scout. Yeah. <laughs> But then they have the black hole. But then AA will be. I think oh, they yeah. should go back. They should go back. <laughs> no, no, they can't they can go back. No, look at this Earth Shaker. Oh, a big Echo Slam. Double kill coming out from Earth Shaker. Now they're running away. Enigma's gonna go down. He gets hook shot by Clockwork. They should have went back when the rocket came. They were here, they were too confident that they could have taken the fight. Yeah, but, but this Earth Shaker, look, level 6, now level 8. They, they, were, they were waiting for the enemy before they were going to the black hole. Yeah, but, but then. But Earth Shaker came with the Fisher, then Echo Slam, a lot of demons inside the camp. Enigma was in the middle lane, he was level 8, but look at the Earth Shaker. The same level as Enigma. And look! He almost. Oh, a bit more, and he has his dagger. While in the top lane again, Nature's Prophet gets spawned. This is why I prefer Midas than Shadow Blade instead of Mecha. Because this Mecha didn't really save him. It didn't really save him anyway. He barely helped his teammates with the yeah, mecha. For the push threat, like, but, it's, but look, it's really links following this. Uh, okay, Clockwork is gonna die. There's no way he's gonna get out. Let's go the block from the. Let's go the block from the. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just those uh, small plays coming out from the Nature's Prophet body blocking with only one tree in. <laughs> but the uh, Leshard should be careful. He's only he's alone in the middle lane. Well, I guess it's back to farming anyway. Midas, look at this! We got 3,000 worth of gold. I He's think going for the Shadow Blade. Shadow Blade or the Regents? If, uh, oh, there you go, Shadow Blade. So when you Shadow Blade in, stun, and then they're dead. But then look, finally, he, he was able to find his farm and gets uh, this Blink Dagger. But then if, if Clockwork is able to hook before the Black Hole, then... I don't think they're gonna win this fight. Oh! Black hole comes out. Only black holds one. Oh, two heroes. Clockwork goes down. But the fight goes. The fight goes on. Buyback comes from Backrider. This is doing all the damage. Still hitting like a truck. Ooh! Echo slam comes out. Now they're going. Around. They're running away. Alchemist charging his stun. Will be able to throw away his stun to Rasta. Rasta is gonna go down. But Ryder keeps now. on following. Yeah, he could. Just TP out. TP out. No. TP. Oh, too late. <laughs> could have TP'd out earlier. And then another stun coming out from Alchemist. This worried about the A missed stun, and here, here is this another free kill? No, they won't be able to kill him. But then oh, Batrider, what are you doing, really Batrider? <laughs> the Firefly wears up and... A oh, nice stun by Leshrac comes out. It was too greedy. And then the Firefly wears yeah, up. Yeah, the, the Firefly. <laughs> oh, trash talk. <laughs> <laughs> Leshrac was just baiting them to go kill him anyway. But then that black hole, it was okay. They were able to find... Uh, they were able to find four kills. Instead of and the buyback. I think it would be it would have been better if Nature Prophet go for the Midas and Shadow Blade then. Well now he's actually getting his He's getting his uh, Necro Box now. Solo kill again on Enigma. Enigma should have been the one who no. purchased the mech. I'm not sure why Enigma is in the bottom lane. All he could do is just farm the jungle instead. It's much more effective and he won't be able to get killed by any heroes anyway. Oh, now oh, AA has been found. There's no way he's gonna survive. No, he, oh, he, he survives? Oh my god. Earth Shaker, one on one. Clinks goes down, everything's going bad. There's no way for Furin to get away from this. 
There's no TP for Shadow Shaman. He's gonna try to juke. Everyone, there's no juke. There's five heroes. Team White comes out, but then look! He gets stuck. He gets stuck. He finds a kill. He finds a kill though. Yeah, he finds a kill. Well played, Rasta. Well played, Rasta. Gets the killing speed from Batrider, but then that was a team wipe. They were able to find everyone, and this uh, this alchemist is getting fatter and fatter. This Enigma, yeah, now he's actually farming here. The alchemist is still farming for his episode already. Well, we don't. Well, he bought his TP, so I'm not sure what he's farming next. But the, it's better if you go for the. If they actually stack for Alchemist, oh here comes the stun for Alchemist. They use the dust. They use us. Will he? Oh no, he won't be able to get away. Miss stun. He he tanked through all that damage. This is why the new chemical rage is way better than the old one. A hook shot hits the creeps. Yolo. This one. This one I've told you during the draft that. But then, Spit push in, but then you can't do anything against this lineup. There's already two daggers out. Mega kill comes out. It's Nature's Prophet. It's because of this early mech build. If he just went for Midas and then went for Shadow Blade Necro, then everything could have been better. In the middle lane, another kill on Enigma. But then Clockwork gets shackled as well. Enigma, AA wa was able to get two kills because of the shatter. Double kill for Clinks. Well, the good thing for Clinks is he's gonna get his Orchid soon. Oh, Rasta, Rasta, Rasta. There's no way you're gonna escape that. Top lane being pushed again. 1.8k gold. This I could buy a meter half meter half hammer if up for the for the Do you think he's gonna get uh BKB? He doesn't actually he doesn't need the BKB Yeah I don't yeah actually he doesn't really need BKB because there's no <laughs> there's no magic spells. And, and he can tank it. Yeah yeah he, he like the one in the middle lane? Yeah. He just tanked all those damage like it was nothing at all. <laughs> now they're going for the push again. Well, will they be able to win against this lineup? Yes. 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 Prophet can, should step up his game, bait all the TP sports to come to top lane. Then when they are all there, he TP back down to the bottom lane to push. No, well, there's a four staff and a dagger now for Bat Rider. They, they just keep on trying to take this tower, and they're still not able to take this tower. Alchemist stuns. Oh, big combo coming out. AA ulti hits three. Leshrac gonna go down from the shatter. Oh, but then uh, the the Clinks the just keeps on hitting and hitting. Such damage coming from Clinks. One more hit going. Almost kills the bad rider. Clinks just keeps on running. Oh, he gets stunned in. There you go. A five for one. You used the wards and the tower didn't even get that damage. Now they know that the uh, that the alchemist has shadow blade. Right? Yeah, the the no alchemist had shadow blade, but then he's too tanky because of his chemical rage. Bonus health regen is too much. They don't have any center wards when they push. That's why they don't see the alchemist coming. That's why they need bonus. But then here we go again, split push. They keep on doing spit push, but then this bat not working. It's not working. It's not working because he's Furion. He has mech, and what else can that do against uh, Bat Rider? Everything is going down. Like I said, if they lose the early game, then they're gonna lose the late game. They need to make a space for for Enigma to initiate, because at the at that last clash, Enigma was the one who was initiated. Yeah, if they were able to find a 5-man black hole, then maybe Enigma can actually turn this game around. He got stunned, he got stunned immediately by the Alchemist, I guess. He was locked down. What Enigma needs to build, if he finishes threads, he needs to take BKB. What he should be doing is just keep on farming and farming, because 
Nothing's happening here. That's why I told you. The mech should have been Enigma, not Yeah, only if the mech was an Enigma, then maybe it could have been way, be way better in this clash. This Alchemist so freaking far. 3.1k. 3.2k. What do you think is going to be worse? Assault Careless? It's, assault is fine, but he does At this point of the game, he doesn't need the well, then, should armor he? because it's just Clint who's doing the damage. And he can kill him one on one. Oh, here we go again. One on one on this Alchemist, but he stuns himself. Will he use a black hole? Oh, no man, no mana. Oh, he blinks out. He blinks out. Alchemist able to survive. He's, they're and still pursuing. Still, still chasing. He's still chasing. He will get will he be able to get AA? Yeah, I think. Man. One more hit. No, not able to hit. But then again, Bad Rider able to find a kill. Again, and he's getting Shivas. There we go. Earthshaker solo kill. Nature's Prophet. Nature's Prophet is really Support against offlane. 0-9. Still no Necrobook. Earthshaker. Earthshaker. What the fuck? Earthshaker like a boss. Mailstorm. <laughs> Two of them are, are going for no. the engine. Right? Earthshaker is not a support. He's a carry. Yeah. Carry Shaker. He didn't go for the Agonyms. Yeah, no need Agonyms. He's gonna carry this game. Look at this. Look how formed is this team. 2.1k almost has his engineer. Yeah. There's Clockwork. I don't think he needs BKB. All he needs is uh, Agonyms. Uh, he needs Agonyms. I don't think BKB. You saw the last fight. No magic damage. Didn't really hurt them at all. And still, this alchemist out farming everyone. What is, what is inside it? Gold per minute, 555. They don't even build a mech for team fights. They don't need mech. Look at that network. 12k and this clock, clock, uh, this thing only has 8.5. It's very far away from the others. Still Wait. trying to find the kill. Alright, trying to farm. Now that they have their the four items, they can just force the team fights instead of waiting for the for the dire side to push. Look at the item progression. The the only big items I see: mech, dagger, and orchid. That's it. But for the other team, they um, almost have their mech. They already have lots of items on alchemist and, and bad guy. There's so many items. Lockwork, hooks, solo kill, links. Things trying to farm his BKB, but then look at this uh, network. Look at it. Doc. It's Earth Shaker. Higher than the offlaner Enigma. Higher than four of the uh, the team in Dire. This Earth Shaker so formed. Farm more than the freaking offlane of their team. They could just push. It. They could go to the Tierco uh, Tower and the bit and then push the high ground. I yeah, but then, be... I think it's better if they push this tier one bottom, tier one bottom tower, so that they could take Roshan easily. But then I guess they're gonna just Look. go top. It's Earth Shaker who's doing the split, the split push right now. Earth Shaker is doing most of the damage because look at his level, level fifteen. I think he could take a ra a rampage on this team. Given that they are, they have a trip, so the Yeah, nature and, they're, and that they're so trip. soft. Okay, oh, all right, gets caught out. Nestrak's gonna so die. Dogs and stun, and that's all. You on get, getting a uh, enigma? Enigma, enigma uh, dead. Oh Two God. dead. Clockwork gets a hook. Gets uh. Gets Rasta. And he Rasta. <laughs> just throws out the wards. Free, free wards to farm. Links farming. This is just a one-sided game right now. Yeah, one side. It's kind of a one-sided game. We if don't have any answers. Answers for the from from this uh from this constant aggression coming from team uh TT Esports. Then they, yeah, they can't initiate. They don't have the burst damage to knock down any of the. Yeah, they can't hit because they always get initiated first. Plus Enigma not able to find the black hole. Now another one. Nestrak dying again. And Clint is, 
Where is the Brox? They're, yeah, they're gonna take their axe now. Look how hard this alchemist hits. He hits so freaking fast. <laughs> he's, no, he's, no, he, he's like a fire truck. Just keep on hitting. Oh, is he gonna stun himself? He doesn't even need the BKB. Yup, stun himself, but then no black. The thing is, there's no black hole. No mana for black hole. Not able to do anything. Jake's trying his best to make his team survive. He was sucks, but he still survived. So they, they were able to take the meteor axe. What? No, Earth Shaker purchased the Earth Shaker! <laughs> Earth Shaker carry! Top 2 farmer. Look at this Earth Shaker! More farm than the, the Klinks? Top 4 farmers are all from the team Radiant. And the 6th six, the six farm, well, most farm is the Ancient Apparition. Yeah! The Klinks, and the, to the top 5. The Ancient Apparition is more farm than the 4 heroes of the enemy team. This is... Let's check the gold lead. 20,000 gold lead. 20,000 gold lead. 30,000 EXP lead. This is a hard game to come back. I don't think they can come back from this game. If they do come back, this is like the comeback of the year or something. Because this, this is so hard to come back out of. All of the current heroes doesn't have that much of an item. Yeah, if Blinks... Blinks... All he needs to kill all the important heroes. If Klinks kill them, then I think it's possible to win. Even Klinks doesn't provide that much of damage. Yeah, because <laughs> more farm, clockwork, Earthshaker, solo kill. Oh, Earthshaker, one hit. Oh, but then Orchid comes out. I just saw that. They're trying to kill. Oh, will he die? No. Wait. Yes. God next streak. One point two thousand gold from that kill. Now they're 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 Let's destroying the base. Let's Hex, HP, HP nice hook. Still Solo kill gonna come up. Black hole comes out. Black hole, Black hole doesn't really do anything now. Look at, look, at look at this. The black hole, two heroes, and a nice stun comes out. Links was free hitting Clockwork yeah. from the outside of the black hole. But, but then Clockwork was too tanky. It wasn't enough, indeed. But then Klinks was able to escape anyway. Yeah, but then that clash, they used a black hole, still not able to kill Klinks. And that's a Klinks who's less farmed than the Earthshaker. He still want to pressure the middle lane. So they're gonna take the Roshan and I think they should just end the game now. Because there's no way that the uh, Team B is able to win this game. They won't come back at this point of time. <laughs> yeah, because we saw the black hole, even though they were able to take two. But uh, Klinks wasn't even able to do much damage against the uh, Clockwork. Especially uh, Alchemist. Alchemist. Yeah, look how fast he hits. Yeah, I told you, he hits like a truck. <laughs> And now he's just 200, 150 gold away from his assault killer. Oh, a nice hook comes out. Another solo kill on the back. Oh, oh on the kids. And then the Lesha comes out. More food. <laughs> One hit. Oh, they're going top lane. They find Enigma. Another free kill. The oh, oh, he, gets oh he, he gets stuck. Another kill on Rasta. Look at this Furion. You see? Necrobook, oh, yeah, Mecha. <laughs> if he went for Midas, then I think they could have won. Good game. Uh, grand finals will be TT Sports against Millennium. A great, I guess, what you call revenge. It's time to get the revenge to see who will be the champion of this a tournament. Rematch. Yeah, a rematch. Well, we'll see you guys again later. The game will be starting a bit soon. So, see ya.
Okay, so this is the grand finals for the Pinoy Data 2 Mini Tournament. It's Dollar Millennium Avenue versus Q Club Gaming. You wanna join me? Yeah? Ah, I think so. And uh, they're playing for the 500 dirham prize right now. Mm. So second place gets uh, 25. Uh, 250 hours worth of time in the cafe. Dire so, team ban. Um, it costs a lot, though. If you're gonna play there, they uh, their internet hours is like, whoa. <laughs> they ban, they ban the Doom. The Millennium Avenue is ban the Doom. I you don't want to guess. I'm gonna eat and leave. Ten seconds oh. remaining. I think they. I think they will pick Five the Invoker for their for their mid laner. That's why they ban the Doom. Yeah. Yeah, Millennium Cafe, Radiant anytime the invoker is open uh, for mid lane, they take it. Yeah. It's, um, it's a comfort pick. I've seen it every single time I watch them play in a tournament, it's always invoker that they pick. I don't know if the TD Sports will let that invoker slip in, knowing Ten that they, they, they are always picking that. Yeah, I mean, they should ban it, and that's Five usually um, whenever Millennium plays against Wu Tang or Royal Flush, they always make sure to ban Invoker. Mm -hmm. Because um, it's something yeah, uh, Millennium is really strong with. Especially the g last game, even though the Invoker was shot down in the early game, he coped up and had a lot of yeah. farm on the mid game to the late game. Yeah. But. Instead of banning the invoker, they ban the Dire team pick. the Ember Spirit. Are they gonna pick the invoker now? Maybe we'll see. They're usually not afraid of picking it first. Um, uh, they, they I think an Ember Spirit. Ember, yeah, yeah they, go <laughs> they go for the invoker. They yeah. Radiant team pick. You know they they know they're good with the invoker. They know it's um, mm. it's like their bread and butter. They never have to. If they can get it, they take it. Ember Spirit as well is pretty good. Um, Millennium Avenue. These two picks, uh, Nature's Prophet and Ember, are really common Millennium Avenue picks. So, so TT Esports like knows who they're banning against right now. Ten seconds. Um, <laughs> Ancient Operation. Ancient Operation pick for the TT Esports and Nexus Assassin. Mm -hmm. Dire team pick. Yeah, they play Nexus Assassin. As for the for the mid. Or for the support. Uh, I don't. I don't know what place, but I've seen um, TD Sports playing back. a lot of Nyx Assassin. They can put the Nyx Assassin in the mid if they want to shut down the Invoker. Uh huh. For the is that a good, is that a good counter pick for against Invoker? As for the Mana Burn, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Could, they could just uh, spam the Mana Burn for the Invoker. But even though the Invoker have less mana, Dire he can have back. he can do auto attacks, and his auto attacks deals a pretty good damage. Especially when he goes for the Exort build, Exort yeah. cost. Uh, Bat Rider, ban. I but think it's a good ban after good the last game. Yeah, after Ten seconds they saw the TT Esports yeah. getting picks and picks with Five the Bat Rider, so they banned it. Another ban for the TT Esports, they banned the Sun King. Team ban. They don't want to get initiated on. I think this is the first time I saw the Sun King getting banned. Mm. Sun King has always been picked on this tournament league. Yeah. So it's a good, it's a good idea to ban it if you're not going to take it. And they pick Visage for Five support. Seconds mm. remaining. Yeah, you see a lot of quite, you see Reserve quite a lot time. of uh, Visage as well. Um, from the <coughs> from most teams here, have the high level teams. Radiant take team visit. pick. Anyway, yeah, Visage is a very helpful support, especially yeah. when he gets level 6 and uh, he gets those familiars up. Yeah. That's instant double stun. In so it's going to be some kind of tri lane with Visage. Um, most likely bottom, I think. I, I think I've, <laughs> I've only ever seen Visage play 
in the bottom one? The yeah, black, sure. the band that clock works though. I don't Ten know. Ten seconds it. remaining. Mm. I don't know if it, is Gyps really playing Blackworks? I haven't seen Blackworks that much for Millennium. So, Reserve I don't know time. why. Maybe they... <laughs> they, don't, uh, they don't want any heroes that, that has an uh, initiation potential, okay. I think. Yeah. They're avoiding that as much. Mm -hmm. And now... This next assassin in ancient apparition, they can be supports, mm -hmm. or the next assassin could go mid. Some are picking next assassin for mid, but it I could don't know. Be because they, I mean, they picked it right after Invoker was picked, so it could be. Mm. But I don't know. Maybe they're still thinking because Nick, if you think for next assassin, he doesn't give that much of utility skills. Yeah. So. Kind of just has to focus one mm -hmm. target. Yeah, it would be better if they pick some. You some mid laner that provides utilities. Mm. Oh, and there goes a center for the off lane. Pretty decent off laner. So do you think we could see like Centaur one or next assassin in H and apparition in a tri lane? I no, I think the center one can be solo. Okay. He will go for the side lane. He's tanky enough, and he has. He has Tanto for the escape. Mm -hmm. Ten so remaining. I think they, they will leave him yeah. at the top lane. Five I don't know who are the Millennium Avenue getting though. For they are they picking off a support now or a time. off laner or carry? They don't have enough lockdown yet. Support. They could the Sun Kings out. Are the Millennium guys jungling or are they using Chen if Chen Chen could be a pretty decent support? I haven't seen a lot of Chen played uh, um. here so So they could up for a lockdown for a stand for a standing support. I am Shadow Shaman and uh, Shadow they pick the Shadow Shaman for the for the hold and the hex. It's also good for the for the push if they're going opting for the push strat mm -hmm. invoker and shadow shaman. Yeah. For the if the invoker is the extra type. Yeah. Gyrocopter. That that would be their tri lane. The gyrocopter, the next assassin, and the ancient operation. With the gyrocopter being the carrier of that one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good try lane. They can be very offensive with that try lane. Mm -hmm. They can harass. They can bully a center war, war runner out of the out of this lane. With the old fit from the ancient apparition, then stun. Yeah. What do you think would Ten be? Seconds, is going to be like their fifth pick. At Five seconds not remaining. Do you think they need tank, or do you think they need something more damage? They need a, a, mi a mid laner. Yeah. An initiator. They could get if they're playing pack. They could get pack against the invoker for the initiation. Yeah. Because that's what that's what they are lacking. Weaver. Oh, we go weaver. Okay. Weaver, weaver for Radiant the hard carry now. Bang. If they pick pack, that it is for pick pack. Pack could just blink in, then dream coil, then the center war runner can come in. Yeah. And uh, everything follows, and Ten also the last, remaining. the last, the ultimate skill of the gyrocopter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dying that would be a oh, very battle. nice mid laner for that one. And as for the Millennium Avenue, they they still are uh, an off laner. They, oh, they banned the pack though. They Radiant already banned the pack. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Brewmaster. Dire team pick. I think this is the first time I see Brewmaster play. Broom. Blue Master could be a mid laner. Yeah. And it's good. Do you think he's a. Do you think he's played as a. More as an off laner or as a mid? I'm not sure. I don't know. Actually, Blue Master is also good in the mid lane. Mm. But. I think he's good against uh, Invoker. Invoker. 
He will do well because he has the skill for the miss, miss auto attacks. Yeah. He can use that. So I think that would be, it would be good. It would be better if the Brewmaster is on the mid. Mm. It could not counter, but pretty. Do you think it'd be better to run Brewmaster or run Nyx Assassin in the mid with this setup right now? With this setup, I would still give it for you for the Brewmaster mid. Okay. He needs to get that level six for the uh, primal split. Primal, yeah. primal split. <coughs> Do you think Millennium knows that right now, or are they? You think they're confused? Axe. Uh, oh, they they go for axe for the offlaner. Yeah, I think they. I think they know that the Brewmaster will be on mid. Yeah. But also, Center War Runner and Brewmaster can interchange depending yeah. on the type of strategy. Mm -hmm. Maybe they can, yeah, they can go for the center war runner for mid, so he can farm up his blink dagger yeah. easily. And then brewmaster, he just need the level six. Once he get the level six, even though he doesn't have that much of uh, of items, he can do well in team fights, yeah. especially when he does the primal split. He, he have the stun, yeah, yeah, very much utility. And I think the Millennium Avenue knows that because mm. they banned the pack. They knows that they know that they uh, they're going to pick the pack, and they banned that one. Ten seconds remaining. And as for this axe pick, five seconds remaining. I'm not sure if this is good for for Millennium Avenue mm. because if if you lean axe against the <coughs> against the ancient apparition, Nyx assassin, and gyrocopter. Axe will just melt away yeah. because of the slow from Ancient Apparition then Nyx could just stun him plus the rocket barrage of Gyrock after if he's alone. Mm -hmm. He will melt down easily. Let's see if we see some weird lanes mm -hmm. or we could see. And once again this is TT Sports versus Millennium Gaming for the finals. The Chinese guy on the Brewmaster, Coops on the Ancient Apparition, Lee Min Ho on the Nyx Assassin, Frost on the Center Warrior Runner, and Ju Wan on the Gyrocopter. Yeah. So. On the Dire side, we got Mil Da Vinci on the Invoker, Sprakots on the Visage Ar Aris D. On the Weaver, Corpse on the Shadow Shaman, and Jupes on the Axe. There is a pause for the settings. For Molin. For For Millennium, it's Limin Ho on the shot on the next assassin. I think they're going for. Oh, looks ah, like Nick Assassin may be going mid. Is he limiting her damage laner? Her? No, I don't. Oh, I, I'm not sure. But. Uh, Nick is. What's, what's. No, 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 he will not go on mid. Oh, okay, he bought a. He bought a smuggle. Are they, are they going for a first blood? Yeah, looks like the master. Most likely will go. Yeah, Blue Master will. Go to the mid lane. The Rubian Weaver on the safe lane, corpse and jupes. Jupes on the off lane. It's good that they put the Brewmaster on the mid lane so he can easily reach level 6 for his primal split and then he can roam with that. He's just there. I'm gonna put it here. Just put it here. He'll be right back. And the game's on. Did he leave? Uh, 
I don't know. Brewmaster are waiting for, for the wildings. 30 seconds to battle. It's a very fa passive start for both teams, just the wildings. They didn't wild each neutral camps of the uh, other teams. Yeah, guy rock up there on the safe lane for the region side. <coughs> Who do you think will get the upper the hand in this laning? Weaver will be on the safe lane together with the Shadow Shaman and the Visage. I don't know, from personal experience in watching these teams, Million Cafe is um, definitely the much more experienced team. Um, they're much more knowledgeable uh, when it comes to team fighting and stuff like this. But, um, and I just, they're, they're involved here. It's just Imba. Yeah, no, he's. He's really good at invoking, so yeah. I, have, I have to give the edge to Millennium. I can see that in the, in the last game, he was shot down, he was 0-4, yeah. and then, but then in the mid game, he has, he has items. Yeah. Now they're trying to bully the center wire runner, but he will do fine in, the, in that off lane. Yeah, TT Esports uh, runs Visage um, quite a lot. I think... Uh, Usually Millennium, or Millennium has run him before, so um, TT Sports has done pretty well with um, Visage in the previous tournament, so mm -hmm. they may win this lane, but um, I think I think what may determine this game is whether or not the Blue Master and Invoker match up how that will go. Uh -huh. I think if Brewmaster can shut down Invoker, I think TT Sports is going to get the edge. At, at this laning phase, Brewmaster can pretty be even and with the Invoker, but he cannot outfarm him. And he will be the one who will get bullied in this lane. He can farm, but he cannot bully the Invoker. He will not outlane him. I will still give that to this lane to the Invoker. And see uh, see how the, how that cold snap is doing everything. That's why that's why the brewmaster is also spamming the drunken haze mm -hmm. for to miss the auto attacks. Yeah. And as for as for Jubes, now he, he was pushed out of his lane. I think yeah. Okay. Center wire runner running pretty ah. low here. It's getting it's getting bullied by the ancient operation. Oh, Rasta is waiting for him. No. And he puts down a ward. And center wire runner knows that there's a ward here. Meanwhile, on, on the mid lane, it's still too even for the invoker and the uh, brewmaster. I'm, I'm quite impressed with uh, what the brewmaster is doing here right now. But there goes the AMP. He loses all his mana with that. It's all the same to me. And Brewmaster is out farming the invoker right now. It's 12-11. It's doing quite good on that, on that lane. Meanwhile, I think Jupes is really having a bad lane on that. He's, he's still... Uh, he's, level, he's level 4. So, that's... Another EMP. It looks like Brewmaster is out trading Invoker. Yeah, he, he's outlining. He's really outlining Invoker. Mm -hmm. He's doing a pretty good job for in this one. Looks like he'll grab the illusion room. Mm -hmm. Bottom. 
Meanwhile, it's still the Weaver and the Gyrocopter who has a lot of who has the most net worth here. The center where runner is really getting bullied by a lot by this Shadow Shaman and the uh, Visage. Now it's going to stack. Jeep is going to stack the ancient crypts right now. To provide him farm earlier. And yeah, I, I think as, as I predicted, uh, both try lines for the teams are going pretty well for mm -hmm. respective teams. Radiant structures like, uh, are fortified. What? The, rib, the weaver is getting the, getting more farm than the gyrocopter. Mm, yeah. Denied. And also the the access is is doing better than the center wire runner. Mm -hmm. It's only in the mid and the mid lane is pretty much even. Yeah. So. Yeah, while well, center runner is in the access. Yeah, but oh, how about the uh, trunkal boots? This. They're still trying to bully the the axe, but he has he, he already stack camps here, the enchant. That's that would be good for him later. And they also they're also near to getting the first tower of the game. Center where runner can even go near his own tower. Garo up now has his Midas. Radiance top game. tower First has fallen. Uh, Sports. No. No to, mil to Millennium. First to tower millennium. of the world goes to Millennium. Yes. <laughs> it's good. At this point of time they can rust uh, the room now or to mid or to bottom. They could leave the Nerubian Weaver and the uh, Visage down. But no, no. Both the sports are going down, looking for a g looking for a gank. Oh, they just roll around. They, they just go around the map. Oh, okay. So very oh, there, the, there goes the stamp, the hex, and the shakas. Great. First blood. First blood, First blood goes to Visage. Nice gank. Nice gank. That's a pretty sneaky move. They smoke around. <laughs> Meanwhile, the mid. Not so fast. Oh, yeah, the Invoker seems to be catching Bro up. Brewmaster is doing a... Uh, oh. oh yeah. and there he goes. Jubes falls up. Falls. Dies and then they even force us Invoker to TP. Mm -hmm. So that's a good... Uh, that's a very good instance for the TT Sports. However, Rasta was here to defend the tower. They should help the center right now. The next assassin, the next assassin could go, could, could go top to help him. So leaves leaves space for the center warrunner to farm, because uh, at this rate, it's five one, and he he gets he gets one death. But will leave the uh, blink dagger for so long for him. He will and they need that at the middle game, at the mid game, especially in team fights. Oh, he stamp, he stamp and he goes for the ultimate stampede. And once again, there he goes. Oh, but there, there's a, there's a bank. Oh, Gyro Captor goes down. And the, the Brewmaster will, will initiate? No. Primal split is up. Are, are they going to. No. The Visage just put a medallion. 
this will give them a higher rate of kill potential for the ganks. Jupes two, uh, two a little bit better than Frost. Seven and three and eight, eight one. It's way better than Frost. Yeah. Cold. It's and Clearly, in Millennium is advantage, but I still think it's, it's too early to tell. Two thousand isn't enough. Yeah, two thousand isn't enough. However, their yeah, so Weaver is getting fine, but Yeah. It's fifty-seven to forty-four. But the Brewmaster is doing good as well. Yeah. He, he has ten go. 10 creeps advantage than the Invoker. Yes, I think Invoker is going to Yes, he will. Oh, he, 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 he is the stumped now. He is the stumped now. There goes the MP. No mana for him to the stump. And the auto attacks will do the damage. Nice gun. Nice gun. I think the issue there was they didn't have any vision. Yeah, they don't have any wards to see the invoke. Anyway, if they have any wards within the range, uh, within the top lane, invoke, invoker was in envy. Yeah. So Dyer's it would have been a success again after a living. Yeah. And also in the in the bot lane, they're, they're going to force this tower now. It's a mid game now. The, this is the best time for them to force team fights now. To force the bot line. Especially the blue master now has his primal split. And there goes the stun. Primal split from him. And look at that old oh, kill. He will be mad. They need to back down. They're fighting at the tower with serpent wards. They will survive. Oh, the oh, no. What a great play from Millennium Avenue. They did not kill the the Earth Spirit. So that he would come back at yeah. that location. Yeah. And now, the, now they're going to fish him up for it. Well, does have a good part of fish up, so mm -hmm. it may not be... I guess they have enough people here to take it down. Yeah, and yeah, they would they would give it, they would give it. The center run war on their own TP. He will farm. So he can get his blink dagger to initiate the fights. Bottom tower has fallen. A river. The tower goes to river. And now Axe Axe has his own blink dagger now. They will look for team fights now. And they are, yeah. And they're there's Sticking right up. Regeneration! Weaver gets, Weaver a, gets here right now. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a very early link and spring at 12 minutes in the game. And the fam familiar is the wording. At this point of time, I can say that the Millennium Avenue has the upper hand here. They got the Blink Dagger, Gold Advantage, and they got the Lincoln for the Weaver. Yeah. And for, unlike the Gyro that has only a hand of Midas, yeah. it wouldn't help that much now. Oh, looks like they were hoping to get uh, Gyro Pop. It's. What they should do is to turtle. The TT Sports, they should. They can pick off one by one, smoke ganks, but not initiate team fights. Because at this point of time, they will lose if they go for team fights. Yeah. They don't have item for the Gyrocopter, they don't have the Blink Dagger for the Center Wire Runner. They can't initiate that. They need to wait for yeah. uh, Mary and Kathy to make a mistake. Yes. Aside for, because aside from the Invoker, they have the Blink Dagger now for the. And they, oh, they will yeah, force the team fight now. They will go for the smoke gun. Millennium does have a gun, but uh. But. No master coming in. 
kind of speed and they just stand. Oh, the codes, the ghost walk. They're being greedy. All five heroes, yeah, all five heroes are there. Oh, they're doing double, double stun. But, uh, they're gonna die as well. They, they take down Invoca and uh, Rasta and uh, okay, well, that's pre two, so. pretty good trade. Yeah. Invoker and uh, Remaster goes down and they force us the Rasta to put down his Serpent Wards. So that's good enough. He was pushing pretty hard in this top Looks like the owner of the sandwich is missing in action. Yeah. If you're <laughs> watching the stream, uh, come pick up your sandwich. <laughs> Maybe he's on his, he's still on his way. <laughs> Do some. Even though Invoker has been out farmed by the Brewmaster, he still he, he now gets his four stuff. What does the Brewmaster has now? Let's see. Brewmaster is I was the even the big dagger, I was just about to say that. Mm -hmm. yeah. To initiate as well. Actually, the big dagger, he can go for uh, Vanguard to be more uh, tanky. Regeneration. Now they can initiate on the Invoker. But they still need an, the item for the Centaur War Runner. Mm -hmm. Centaur War Runner is a crucial hero for this team because. Not just for the blink dagger. If he has the blink dagger, he can stun multiple heroes. Followed by the stun. Oh my god. He was scared. Berserker is scared. Carapace. Oh! Yeah, he was saved by the Carapace. He was be saved. Battle Hunger. But they do lose the middle tower. They, they lose the tower, they force the TP on the mid and they let they are letting the Nerubian farm the top now. Reaver is still pushing the stock down. They're gonna be able to escape. They're gonna need to get something to give them vision on Reaver because I think he's just gonna do this. Yeah, he's just staying here. If they're going for if they're the best thing for the for the Weaver. If he's going for the split push, mm -hmm. you go for the counter push as well. Yeah. Bring TP then counter push. Mm -hmm. Especially that the, the Shadow Shaman's serpents are down now. They can mm -hmm. they can initiate. Uh, they can force team fights. Yeah. And if they don't have Weaver, if the Millennium don't have doesn't have Weaver and team fights, they are gonna lose because the damage that will be produced that will be produced by the TT sports is a lot. Combining with the Center War Runner, Hoof Stomp, the AA Blast, plus the Brewmaster, and especially the Gyrocopter's ult and the Rocket Barrage. Invoker, Invoker Shadow Shaman could easily melt down by that one. The only one who will survive, I guess, is the Axe and the Visage, because given they have a high, higher base armor. But they could pretty. Yeah, they, they could lose on the team fights. Yeah. Given that, given, that they, given that the TT Esports could. Blow all its all its skills. Yeah. The hoop stamp. And there it goes. The last oh, two one stun, the AA blast. Axe axe and Rubin. Bruma the Brewmaster didn't have a chance to pop his ultimate. Is I don't know if it's down or is No, it was up. It was no, up but I'm pretty sure let me check. He did yeah, it was up. He, he didn't have a chance to pop it. He yeah, was it instant. I'm not sure if he blinked in or what happened there. Yeah, um. he blinked in after the center one runner blinked in, then hope stomped the Nerubian assassin. It was followed by the Brewmaster, the Thunderclap, and then followed by the Nerubian Weaver, yeah. and then the AA Blast. Is it a good trade um, in favor of TP Sports, I think, because 1-2? Uh, Gold Vantage slightly moving towards CT Sports, but um, not. Does not the not. the Ruben River has buyback that time? Because yeah. if uh, he has, he, he could have buyback that one then. 
he can auto attacks all the FD heroes. Uh, probably, probably they could. Oh no, he doesn't have any buyback. Because if he, I guess if he has, he could after he dies, he could buy back the time time lapse back. Oh okay. So he's in the fight again. Then it would be in favor of them. They could get the tower. Yeah. Axe is in the invisibility room. No, Visage is more tanky right now. He, he gets the map. He gets the map now. Ancient apparition is gonna die. He's now he's gonna. <laughs> what is he doing? He was cut off guard. He was. I think he was putting wide, no? Yeah. Right here. That was, that was not worth it. Gyrocopter still farming for his BKB. Axe has a Vanguard now, he's more tanky. Oh, why? Here goes the first step. That's too early for the. They initiated the invoker, but they will get the tower first. Then go back. Oh, oops, the oh, they killed the, they killed the visage, and then they're moving back. But the Nerubian, Nerubian, in the top so farming. They got initiated on Axe Mid Dagger and uh, Calling Calling Blade from Axe. Warner shouldn't have gone back in there. I don't understand why he was stuck there. Because, uh, I mean, it would have been a. I don't know if he was blocked by the crypts while he was getting back then he was blinked up and on by the axe. And the being absolutely annoying. There is not letting any of the lanes push. And that, that's what Weaver does best. Yeah. <laughs> he goes everywhere. And let the other let the four uh, four guys of your team to push mm -hmm. the other lanes. Now he bought another mineral hammer. He will not purchase. He will not purchase. So we on oh, he got the Lincoln. Nice escape. The next assassin should have known that he, that his stun wouldn't connect because of the Lincoln. Yeah, they, they don't have the ult for the next assassin. Oh, they got initiated again. They're jokes. No. That's actually that's the right thing to do. The the four guys from his team focused on Centaur War Runner, but is not a pretty good target because of his his tanky. If they went on next assassin, they could have just. Radiant's right bottom away. tower has been denied. Oh, but his assassin goes down. Yeah, he goes down as well. Yeah. But Millennium does take another tower, putting them at a two tower advantage mm -hmm. with only the seven left. It's still pretty even in terms of kills, but I, for the networks, I think it's. Still on millenniums. Mm -hmm. It's still on millenniums. So yeah, it's four thousand worth. Very good. Yeah. And primal split up. We're going for the visage. No. And then the tornado. Oh, the bugger just now. Ancient Apparition will die as well. I know they they are chasing Axe. Oh, try, blink out. No. While they are chasing at the Nerubian Weaver is, is pushing the bot lane. They don't have any TP. Does anyone have TP? No. Uh, no, he purchased the Resolator.
you can if this guy after Alex and then chase Nerigan River, he can kill this one. Ooh. Is it? He does not have vision on him. Will he survive? He will survive. The butter hunger will not kill that. Oh, <laughs> almost. Axe, Axe, what are you doing? I think Jupes is, is getting a little aggressive. Mm -hmm. Let's go for the blade now. It's pretty. The game's pretty even now. It's just who initiated first mm -hmm. and who gets the good positioning. You can point five on the side. Who, who gets a clear advantage? Not, not, not one card, but. I, I yeah, maybe, maybe this could be the fight they're talking about. Especially their center where Hunter kills the. They don't have a tank hero, except for the Blue Master. This mid tower is probably the right and look how, look how the Millennium Squad is positioning themselves. Yeah, okay. Try my speed. Oh, what, what a good ult from the guy right after. Jinx will go down. Message was tossed up. He will just tank when he goes down. But not the ideal hero actually. It's, it would be better if. It turned out in favor of uh, the Millennium, Millennium Squad. They, f and they, focus, they focused on the Visage, but Visage is not a good hero to focus on because he has the medallion, he has a high base armor, and he has mech. So, so if you're going to focus, and the Invoker was just auto attacking. Oh. Stump cancelled. No man, no mana. They will back for now. Invisibility. Agony was coming from coming um from the blue master. Good item choice. The guy you could see another mid push here. Mm -hmm. The guy Raptor did a pretty good job getting his Maida, so even though he he's not getting the farm like the Nerubian River does, mm -hmm. he's still in par with him in terms of gold. Thanks to the Maidas. Mm. We see a dust from Dyer's top tower has fallen. Another smoke gank, but I, no, they, they, they will not get any. They will not get anyone from here. No. All of them are on, they're pinging. No, but, but they are all of the TP sports are on the top lane. The and the smoke as well. They smoke as well. They circle the small area. So they don't. Know. They don't know. They don't know where the where each other is. Oh. They initiated an axe. The ghetto after wins. <laughs> With the serpent points. As long as the one lives, it will be fine. Oh, he died. He will leave, he will leave. He will leave. He can still force this to fight. There's no axe. Just initiate and the invoker, and you will get the upper hand. So I think what they were trying to do was bait out TT Sports, but um, they didn't work out yeah, in his favor. Mm, yeah, they, they didn't think that the TT the Sports could lock down Axe that easily. Yeah. You know, and even though Millennium doesn't have that damage, they still need to be aware that you know, they can still lose a fight. It's better if if they if it's better if they use the visage for the bait because he, he has mech. Mm -hmm. Then when he gets initiated on axe could blink in then call. Yeah. Haste. Are they trying to 
and also Nervian Nervian Weaver was there to to do the auto attacks. He's pretty much farmed right now. He's more farm. Oh. The familiars are scouting. There's a sentry wire. The, there's a sentry. There's a sentry. No. I was not seen by that one. Oh! I'm going to get some more fire face is doing the damage. No, he will not survive. Axe goes down and then they will disengage. No, the grave should be Oh, look at the damage. Look at the damage. The problem was. Gyrocopter was not there when they engaged. Mm -hmm. Millennium was there all five, I yeah, all five. That's a problem. They started the team fights with uh, the Gyrocopter. Yeah. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Gyrocopter is currently their highest or player that's worth uh, almost as much as um, Weaver, so. TD Sports uh, has the items, not has the items, and they have good initiation team. Initiation skills. We should start getting team fights. No, rush on the thing. For the last two clash, they they have been baited by the Millennium Esports. We should get Thomas to get side. We should do a smoke gun and try to we'll force Invoker maybe or the. Nerubian Weaver, mm -hmm. but right now it would be, right now it would it would be very hard for them because look at that Nerubian Weaver. Yeah. Yeah, they let him go wild in the beginning, so yeah. he was just farming as much as he wanted. A hundred of golds away, and he will have his heart of Tarask. Yeah. And also the the Invoker, he already has his sight of ice. This would. This is very bad for the for the TTS sports. Mm -hmm. Short pause, maybe for second question. Yeah. Weaver and it's a hundred Invoker pushing a lot. Four hundred gold away and he will purchase the heart of Thanos. They're not getting any anywhere here. They're just staying in the mid lane. They should do some smoke and especially that now that the millennium are scattered. Mm -hmm. I'm only confused it's like do they want to go mid or do they want to head bot? Yeah. Every time they go to the lane, again, again they're in the other lane. Again, they're seeing the. Oh, they, they, they get initiated again. You want to work from the door up there? Oh, yeah. Oh, just doing everything. It's a 3 for nothing. We could, we could use this chance. We could use this chance to push it. Oh, looks like X is all Oh, they got too deep. They got to <laughs> Yeah, and they, they forces back. the back back, the bye back. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. <laughs> the big master got caught. Four for four. Still even, I can say, because they forces they forces the buy back for the axe despite yeah. despite of the ages. So they're able to take the ages down, then kill him mm -hmm. again. So. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Let's see. Uh, looks like they're gonna try to make an aggressive push. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. No. Yeah. I don't think it would be a good idea. No. Better than stand, but no one knows. He has a chicken, and all he does is not he will die. There's no balance put from the 
Blue Master. Maybe we'll get this runs. Radiance Middle Barracks has fallen. Radiance Middle Barracks has fallen. It's very fun. Yeah. And it's, it's very tank as well. He's too fat. Yeah, look, he's just. He's standing the. Upgrade. He's standing the tower. Weaver tank. I think it's even more tanky than the. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. I don't know how much a blue match is. One, one more hit. Radiance bottom barracks has fallen. This is for them. Don't toss on the word. I mean, at this point, I don't think there's like no way. Yeah. Double damage! Like, there, unless, like, the other team just completely gives up. If. If the Millennium Squad don't force to end this fight, yeah, they can come back. Mm. They can come back. Because of, the, of their line, up, actually, their line is pretty much attack. good. It's good than the. In the Millennium Squad, but because of the Farm Weaver, they, they, they can't do anything about the Farm the Weaver. Mm. Look at these annoying guys. I think the familiar is trying to. It's pretty much gonna, they're gonna force the force them to keep watching these. <laughs> now they can't leave the other bot lane. No? <laughs> they got they got it. Radiance bottom barracks has fallen. And they can't even go. There. They'll show themselves. Oh, that's one has it. One familiar for one Rex. I think that's a good trade. Yeah. Also, Center Water Runner is not farming now. He stopped farming. He yeah, he got the blink dagger and the med for the hood of defiance. He just. Tower Cupper is pretty farmed though, but um. Yeah, he's pre he's farmed as well. His hand of minus is. Yeah, that's what keep, keeps him in the game. The hand yeah. of. Center Water Runner is. Going for a hood of defiance, but I don't think that's a good. I don't think that's a good idea. He could have used. He could have go for a BKB. Mm -hmm. This which picks up an Aghanims. Now, could it be fine? If he could have picked up a BKB rather than a defiance, that would be added strength, added HP. Yeah. Plus, he wouldn't be. He would be immune to invoker's magics. Yeah. We're gonna see a push here by. And the familiars are sneaking in. Dude, the familiars cause stuns whenever they land? Yeah. They stun one, one, one at a time. Yeah. They so you can do three stuns. Yeah. We're gonna see a push here from the bottom lane creeps. Oh, it's a big group. Hmm. Plus. They, they got. Which goes. Just blinks in. Uh, 
They will just force this one. Radiance top tower uh, is under attack. The serpent ward goes down. The fin familiars are attacking. He forces center war on it to, the, to go in. Now he doesn't have any mana. Why must split? But invoker forces stuff out. They, fo they are focusing Visage. But Visage, as I've told you, is a very tanky hero. <laughs> Yeah, if they, if they kill that that one, the, it's good. Oh. oh, it's a it's 3 for 3. No, it's good. They are going to lose some of their Shut up, Britannia! Britannia! Radiant structures are fortified. This tower is dangerous. Well. It's just in, in terms of team fights, they can go on par with the Millennium Squad. But the Weaver is just so farmed right now and it's it's so very tanky. Yeah. Top tower has fallen. Given that heart of Taras, it's not easy to kill him. Final outer drops. Uh, opening up their racks. They see another. Ah, they're, they're pinging. They're, they're pinging the Russian. They'll go for the Russian first. It will respawn in another one minute. Radiance Courier has been killed. Sandwich has been officially abandoned and I will leave it. So if ever you're listening right now or watching right now. We are eating your sandwich. No you, yeah. They can end this now. I yeah. Blue Master has an Aghanim and a Blue Dragger, but that's not enough. Oh, 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 they got Rasta. And they will also get Marillion Hero. It's a 2 for nothing, and now they will get access right. The Blue is just too far away from the team fight. The familiars are doing. The familiars are doing a lot of utility for them. No, no, he will. No, he will. I, I don't think he will. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. The familiar. The fam <laughs> the, the, those familiars could do a lot of damage, yeah. especially with the uh, Arganus now. <laughs> no. Radiant's top barracks are under attack. <laughs> See that how? Oh. Yep. I just oh, the after the the no, but a uh, divine rapier. <laughs> this, uh, Radiant's oh. middle tower is under attack. This, uh, for me, this is now a desperation move. It's all or nothing. Mm -hmm. If the new European weaver gets hold of that divine, yeah. Yeah. Without it, he's already ridiculous. So. And the chrysalis. You should have saved the money for your buyback, not for the chrysalis. <laughs> and those familiars are doing their thing. They just, they really need to clear this somehow. Is there any item that allows them to clear this for us? The Besides axe, the, the small axe? Uh, there's none. <laughs> Aside from the, of course, the skills the other heroes has to clear the forest. Yeah. 
they're, they're just being a nuisance well with this team. Oh, they oh, blink in. Yeah. Like <laughs> 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 no, no, you get it. You get the. Anyway, that's 300 worth of gold. <laughs> so it's worth it. It's worth it. Barusan in the meantime drops to the tire. Who got it? Let's see. Not Axe. Uh, maybe Weaver. Weaver. Yeah, hooks Weaver. Up Weaver picks up the ages. So I don't know. It's like it pretty much has two ages. <laughs> Just, um, Weaver now, aside from being tanky, he has now he has three lives now. Mm -hmm. yeah, look at when he will die, then he will revive for the ages. Mm -hmm. Then after that, he can just fight, and then until he dies, then time buy back, then time lapse back yeah. to the fight. So, if they force the team fight now, it could be over for them. But no, he doesn't have any buyback. He doesn't have money. He has buyback status, but he doesn't have money. Let's see. I think we're going to see a final fight here. Yeah, this will be the oh. final clash. The and final the familiar is still unknown. Radiant's top barrel oh. has fallen. The the first uh, region. Jigs will go down. The region will go down as well. The region will go down as well. Keep nothing for now. They're focusing the visage. And Radiance top barracks are under all attack. Oh. Triple kill. oh, it's a four for nothing. It's a four for nothing. And the river, it's a Radiance five for nothing. We can just use chance to push. Radiance we don't have any buyback. 